Okay, now let's focus on adjustment adjustment of AM tuner. So alignment of AM tuner. First, set function switch to AM. Set function switch to AM. It's okay. Connect connect AM signal generator through one kilo ohm resistor to AM antenna terminal. So we have here the leader LSG two one six RF signal generator. We have output open circuit fifty ohms. This cable. We have here the core and the ground. The ground I fix on the ground and uh, the signal cable it's connected to one kilo ohm resistor and after that the crocodile, crocodile cable is going on the first pin for AM. Yes, for AM section. After that, set duplicate switch to off position and connect an AC voltmeter to tape one rack jack. Yeah, so all these monitors are on off. And for uh, this REC output, I just connected these two RCA cables and they are going on the input of both channels on oscilloscope. Yeah? Okay, after that we have set AM signal generator for 400 Hz, 30% modulation and 100 decibel output. So, here we have AM signal, it's visible there. We have modulation 400 i can't adjust the the percentage for this and they can change the value for six uh, 600 yes we have 600 600 kilohertz and we have to adjust for 100 dbu yeah Okay, so we adjust this. Yeah, 99. 5. Set a 6 to 50 dial indicator, the indication the M signal frequency to for 600 kilohertz. Yeah, okay. So now I just connect a pair of headphones and we have to bring the dial pointer to 600. So here is 600. You see, you can hear. You see? And also it's visible on oscilloscope. If we are looking on the oscilloscope, you can see the signal. Yeah, so it's visible. We have signal. It's exactly on 60. You see? Okay, so here it's, uh, it's very clear. So what they said, set. Uh, okay, so point number six, adjust T3 core for maximum reading on AC voltmeter. So T3 is the exa exactly T3, yeah? So you see, T3 is IM oscillator coil, yeah? So we have to adjust that one. So for that, I suggest you to use only the plastic uh, plastic uh, screwdrivers yeah so let's use this one so if i will see if i can take with one hand yeah but i think this one is too too wider we need a smaller one let's see if it's visible here here no where 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 where, where? yeah this one We'll use this one. Okay, so now we'll put inside for for a um, oscillator, and we can play. You see what's going on? So with this one, you can track exactly to be on sixty. So we'll adjust. The indicator on 60, yeah. And now you will check on the oscilloscope what's going on. So, what he said to have the maximum to have maximum value on voltmeter, yeah. But we are using oscilloscope. If you want to use voltmeter, you can use voltmeter, so it's up to you, yeah. So it's it's visible now yeah? intensity okay. In reality, 
because you have this refresh rate you can see you see like that but normally uh, I see here it's 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 perfect yeah okay so we adjust this this point so let's focus on the other point yeah so this is the t3 core 6 7 set a 6 12 50 dial indication am is am signal generator frequency for 1400 kilohertz so let's go to 1400 so 1400 yeah let's change also the signal generator okay so here we are yeah and now we will play with tuning capacitor to see what's going on so we let exactly 140 yeah so it's straight on that yeah okay so we adjust this and they said like that adjust point number eight adjust tc1 for maximum reading on ac voltmeter tc1 so tc1 you see where it is it's closer to the capacitor yeah so this one it's am oscillator cup so now what you are doing you are adjusting the bandwidth yeah so let's see how is it this one if we'll be able to set with this okay so it's on position so now let's see what's going on so you see was on spot let's check the oscilloscope back just on spot yeah okay so this point is also done let's go ahead set am signal generator for 30 dbu so 30 dbu is here so we have 30 dbu yeah okay 30 dbu set a 6 12 50 dial indic oops sorry dial indication am signal generator frequency for 600 kilohertz Again, so we'll come back to 600. Here we are, 600. We'll change also the signal generator to 600, 0 0.6. Okay, so here we are, yeah? And they said like that, adjust, adjust T3 and T4 and bar antenna core for maximum reading on AC voltmeter. So T3 and T4. Again, T3 and T4. So let's play t3 it's adjusted we'll play with t4 t4 it's i am coil rf coil yeah and you will adjust this and after you adjust the point 11 you have to to set the s61250 dial indication i am and am signal generator frequency for 1400 kilohertz Okay, and after that you'll adjust TC1, TC2, and TC3. Yeah, so the input capacitors, yeah. For maximum reading on IC voltage. Okay, so let's change on 1400. Here we are. We'll change also the signal generator to 1400. And we can hear yeah you see so here are uh, yeah it's visible also on the oscilloscope If you are looking here, we are on 30 dBU, yeah? And it's... The signal is visible, it's noisy. If you want to be a little bit better, you can play, yeah? And now, we have to adjust TC1, TC2, and TC3. And these are the... AM antenna capacitor, AM RF capacitor, and AM oscillator capacitor, yeah? 
So we we will play with oscillator because we have to bring exactly one 100 1400 here yeah for the biggest value yeah? here so i'll go on the second one amrf capacitor yeah so let's let's find the the spot you see in this way it's lowering and it's increasing So here, so here we are. Yeah, and now we can you can play also with this to see if it's okay. Yeah. So it's perfect. So this is about the alignment of AM section. So repeat steps 10 and 13 to eliminate variation in AC voltage voltmeter reading. Yeah? So this is how I did this. I am signal generator, also you see there exactly how we connect. So this is about <coughs> AM. You can see also here the signal was improved. Yeah. Because it was not like that the signal in the beginning was a little bit lower so now it's now it's now it's proper the AM alignment on next video I'm planning to do the RF alignment also step by step with you thank you for your time cheers thumb up